we are now actually in the center of Ruta 40 and we are heading towards Las Lajas where we will get there in two days. Let's go! Intense heat and no shade. Despite these hard bike touring conditions, there was always someone to cheer us up. Thank you guys! So, so tasty. When cycling in summer, you learn to appreciate even more the power of the shade. The campsite at Las Lajas was like an oasis in the middle of the desert. In this small village, we even got the opportunity to get our third shot against coronavirus. One day, we received some bad news from home. And we knew that at some point we would have to pause our adventure. Although it looks like we are simply cycling and carrying on with our trip, in our heads we were thinking about the next few months and how to best handle the situation. Hi, welcome to our new house. Let me show you in. Careful with the steps. Hi. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very easy to clean. Yeah, it's very easy to decorate. It's basically just a small square. We have the kitchen area over here. That's the living room. Uh, storage. Bucket. And a uh, room. Every house needs a rim and a chair. We're playing uh, I Spy with my little eyes. So it's my turn. All right, already. So uh, I Spy with my little eyes. Something beginning with S. Hmm, what could it be? I guess a uh, snake? Uh, no, no, actually, no, don't say that. <laughs> no. Then I say no. Yes. Really? Yeah. No. Uh, just use your imagination. The scenery is so different now and we just did one climb. It's impressive how green it is. There are a lot of trees. We believe they are called piranha. What did he say? He said, yeah, we can camp over there. That actually belongs to the police, like the national police. <laughs> he says there's no one there and... Uh... There's, a, there's a smaller stream, stream behind those trees. And yeah, you can he said we can just camp anywhere we want.
he also told us that um, so the asphalt is finishing in like 1k and then it's going to be a dirt road and there's more places to camp there if we want to what do you say what you say what you say but we know that there's uh, there are showers at the custom yeah but i really would like to camp by the river yeah and yeah. at the customs i think there's going to be a lot of noise for the truck drivers uh, i'm okay here it's still early but it's warm and we are feeling a bit sick because of the vaccine we had yesterday so it's better to look for a place to stop Rivers are always a great spot to pitch the tent. We can wash ourselves, clean the dishes and filter some water. Oh, and that night we admired one of the most beautiful sky we've ever seen. All right, so here we are at the top. It was really nice, not so hard. Although it took us like an hour and a half to do uh, 12 kilometers, now it's mostly downhill, but as you can see, it's gonna be downhill like this. So we won't go much faster <laughs> than uh, coming up, but that's okay. We actually just met a cyclist who was camping and uh, he told us that the road is pretty shitty. Anyway, that's life. We're prepared for that. The amazing thing about climbing up here, it's a super pointy mountain. I mean, seriously, it, it looks like a kid has drawn it. I think there's one over there called Lenin. Uh, I'm not sure of the name because I'm sure that name has been taken already. <laughs> Argentina is like country number 30 or something like that and it's definitely in the top two or three of bad roads I mean we're not complaining we're really really happy to be here but what is it? I'm so tired, fed up of this dirt road. Maldito ripio. <laughs> oh. You want some peanut butter? Yeah. You want some peanut butter? Does it have uh, stones inside? It's got stones and sand. Oh, great. <laughs> We got to Villa Pehueña exhausted and everything was either mega expensive or fully booked. Out of nowhere, two holidaymakers invited us to stay at their place for the night. It was love at first sight. 
Cuidado al bosque, subo un camino que llega hasta el límite entre Argentina y Chile. Bien. ¿sí? Hay que tener cuidado de no bajar a Chile, ¿sí? Okay. Y ahí les queda la subida de 4x4, son 600 metros, Bien. que es para llegar al punto más alto del volcán a una altura de 2000 metros a nivel del mar. Bien, van a tener ya. una vista panorámica Argentina y Chile, Buenísimo. porque ahí está el límite y van a poder ver estos volcanes. Según ah. la forma van a saber cuál es cuál. We can't thank Cecilia and Alfredo enough for their generosity and the amazing time we spent together. The Alumine River Valley is a great bike touring destination and it's exactly what we needed. An easy dirt road along the river with lots of trees and shade. A small break at Junín de los Andes was necessary because cyclists had warned us that traffic afterwards would get very dense. And they were right. But that's for the next episode. Meanwhile, we need your support to spread the word about our adventure. So don't forget to like, leave us a comment and subscribe. <laughs>